Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 and 5 tutorial. Today is another video where we are optimizing your game. So this is a really important one, which a lot of people don't know about or they overlook and they don't think about it, but this is memory usage within your game. So the main thing everyone looks at for optimization is graphics, but memory usage is also a big one. So if I were to hit play, what we can see is I have these little cubes here if I go up to them and press E, they're just going to be despawned and there's also setting a boolean in my character blueprint. This is just a very basic item which I've made just to show how we can optimize memory. So obviously this isn't that bad anyway because it's very small, I'm just going with the basics of how it works. So what we have is this item here. To find out how much memory this is using within our games, we can find it in our content browser, right click on the blueprint, go to size map. And then in the top right, you can see it says size to display disk size. So at the moment, this is showing how much it is taking up on the disk. So this is also a great way to optimize the storage as well. But we're gonna click on disk size and change that to memory size. And now we can see that it is using 111.3 megabytes of memory, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that is way more than it needs to be using. We can easily cut this down by about 110 megabytes. Now, how do you know what it is you need to cut out? You basically just wanna go for the biggest item. So you can see this huge blue box here is the third person character. This is on here because this blueprint here, the BP underscore item is referencing the BP third person character. And because it is referencing it, it is storing it in memory. So it's using up memory that it doesn't need to be using or that could be used elsewhere. So the more of these items you have in your level, the more memory you'll be using and if you have other things as well that want to be using the character or all using a lot of memory together, that can then add up quite quickly and cause a lot of lag in your games. So again, I've just created a very basic example because this is an empty project, but that's but you get the idea. You can open it up and then see in here what it is that is taking up the storage. So the total up at the top and you can see everything else here and you can zoom in on these as well. So I zoom in here, this is in the third person character that's then referencing Quint Simple, which is this the skeletal mesh. So there's not much we can do about that, but you can see on this, this is all just the texture. So we could lower the texture sizes and texture resolutions, and that will then lower the memory usage even further on here. And we can keep zooming in until we get exactly what we want. And now that is the only one on there. And we can zoom all the way back out to our BP item. So that's how you can find what is using memory within your blueprints, but how do we fix it? Well, let's open up our BP item. You can right click on it and browse to asset and open it up like this. And now we can see this is the very basic code I've got in here. What I'm doing is when you press E, if you are or aren't overlapping the character, it's just gonna set the Boolean and destroy actor. Now the way to solve our problem is we know if we go to the size map, the memory usage is coming from referencing the third person character. If we go in here, that is because we are casting to it. Now what I like to do, if it is a big blueprint, I will go up to window, find results, and then in here, just search for what it is I'm trying to find references to. For example, third person character, and you can see here all of these. And I'll just go through all of these, double click on them like this, until I've got rid of all references, and then that's all good and sorted. Obviously I know that they're just here because it is a very simple blueprint. So how do we go about fixing this? Well, the reason why we're casting to the player character here is because we want to make sure that it is the player character that is overlapping the box when pressing E. So if you have an AI, for example, it won't work for them. So we can delete the casts there. We're no longer referencing it. Out of other actor, instead of casting to the player blueprint, what we can do is get an equal equal. And then for the other actor here, we're going to get player character. Not camera manager, sorry, player character. This is gonna do the exact same thing as casting. However, it's not gonna be using up the memory that casting is, so it will be a lot more efficient. We then hold down B, left click to get a branch, connecting that in there, and then true into the open of the gate or whatever else it is that you had the cast going into. And then we'll do the same thing for both of these, like so, the begin and end overlap, perfectly like this. And now we have already optimized removing it there. However, you can see we still have it here as well. So this one is gonna be a little bit more tricky, but still a very easy solution. So instead of casting, what we want to do here is we want to use a blueprint interface. So what I'm gonna do is go back into my content browser, right click, 
go to blueprints and create a blueprint interface and I'm going to name this BPI for blueprint interface underscore player character and I'm going to open this up so now if I ever want to get something or set something or if I basically want to cast to the player character whatever I want to do I will instead do through this interface which means it doesn't have to directly cast to the character blueprint so it's much much better on memory so I'm going to create this new function and just call it set has item as that is what I was doing so I go back to the item and you see the whole reason why I'm casting here is to set that variable so in here I'll just do set has item and I'll add an input setting this to has item or essentially the name of my variable and it is a boolean because if I go into my character blueprint this is the variable here so it's has item and that's a boolean I'll do the same in here and I will compile and save that and if you wanted to do get instead of set you would do the same thing but where you've done the input that would be an output instead now if you go to BP item we can remove the cast and the set and instead just get player character and out of this we're going to just call the function that we just named made so I called that set has item and you can see now we have set has item message so we can do that and I want to tick it so it's true and I'll connect that into the rest of the code we have compile and save that now if we go back to our player blueprint or our character blueprint we're going to go to class settings at the top under interfaces we're going to press the add button and we're going to add bpi underscore player character now on the left you see we have an interfaces tab open that up and you can see we have set has item which is the function we just made double click that to create it and then essentially here all we want to do is whatever we want to do when this fires off so for me that's going to be setting the boolean has item and setting it to the input we're putting in there and that is all we need to do we'll compile and save and now we're no longer casting to the player blueprint here we're no longer using it in memory so just to double check i'm going to go to window find results search for third person and you see no results found which means we have completely removed it from memory so now if we were to go back into our size map we'll have to close it and reopen it just to refresh it we can see now if we go to size map and then memory size it's now gone from i believe it was about 111 megabytes to 1.7 megabytes which as you can see is a lot better and the only thing referencing in here now is the cube static mesh the standard macros the shape material all these other tiny things and you can see 1.7 megabytes is very very good and that is a very well perfectly optimized asset again for you in your actual game you'll probably have bigger ones and more to go through i was just showing you a basic example but that has worked perfectly we're now no longer needing to reference that in memory and what you can also do is you don't need to do it per blueprint you can do it for an entire folder so we can right click on this go to size map and that is showing the disk size once again and you go to memory size as well this one might load because it's doing a bigger amount and more of them it's an entire folder and you can see it's showing all of these here so you can go through folders or the entire project if you wanted but that would obviously take a lot longer to find everything and see what is using up the most memory throughout your entire game so you can see for me in this very bare bones project the thing that's taking up the most space or the most memory is the materials for Manny but obviously that's something which you really do need it's the player character but again if you want to optimize that you can just lower the text resolutions so I think that will probably be it for this video of going over how to optimize memory usage in your game. So I've shown you how to find what is using the most memory and then how to also fix and optimize that. Again, I know I showed a very kind of basic case, but that's really how you do it for all of them. It's the same thing. You should really be using interfaces instead of casting and try and just avoid casting wherever possible. And that goes for everything in your game as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you found it helpful of me going over this and covering it. Do let me know in the comments down below or Discord is a better space if you do need additional help with doing this. But this is something I would definitely recommend doing to improve the quality of your game and to reduce lag as much as possible. If you did enjoy it, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really helps me and the channel out a lot. And we're trying to hit 100k this year. So again, if you did enjoy it, please make sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.